Hello, today it's sunny weather in central Finland and we will drill some barley. The tractor we are using is of course the new G-series, then we have a Tume isobus drill and then I will create a prescription map with Next Farming FMIS system. So in this Next Farming software I have already created uh, the field boundary of this field. It's the Tura Riihipelto and once I've drawn the field boundary I will create a prescription map. So today we want uh, the average amount is 500 seeds per square meter and right here if you see in the satellite picture here is some more sandy soil right here and here. So we want to put some more seeds in that area and with next farming it's really easy I can customize my prescription map as I wish. So once the prescription map is planned then we click on save. Uh, it's barley sowing on this field and next we go to the machine management application uh, and right here and we click on send data. And now we choose what we want to send and I want to send the field boundaries and the plant tasks and everything to the tractor because this tractor is connected with the agri router um, to next and to the tractor. Now when I send it, it will send it over the air straight to the G-series. So now we are in the tractor and uh, once the task is received from next and the agri router, you go to this uh, task doc menu and you select the right task. So barley sowing number two and here we see the, the values that will be counted. On the bottom we have this prescription map so we need to activate it and here we can see the values we have planned. So different colors indicate different kilos per hectare. We can start the task and then we can start also the seeder, isobus seeder and then go to the Walter Guide menu. As you see, we have the boundary created already in the FMIS system. We have also a prescription map, so we activate it from the layers. And uh, then I want to have a headland of 20 meters. So I will start by seeding inside the field and then close with the headlands five rounds with the four meter drill. Then as we have wayline assistant, uh, we can create quickly waylines based on the boundary from here. And because the shape of the field is quite nice today, we can have four different segments and that will fit us fine. Then only section control remaining I need to turn it on. Overlap settings 100% infield, 50% boundary. And before starting to seed, I want to seed first the inside of the field and close with the headland, so I want to turn on, on the headland mode. Which means that now when I lower the drill, it will only start seeding when going inside the the field like this. Here you see because we have the prescription map the drill is changing the values automatically so we have different rate of seed in the different areas and I can drive over the headland headland line and the drill will close itself. And now you saw with the wayline assistant that when turning in the headland the system uh, um, automatically suggests different uh, segments because 
it suggests always the segment that where the tractor is facing to. So in the Wayland menu, we can block the segment so that I want always to use this segment number three when, when uh, drilling inside the field. And let's do it here in the, in the headland when we turn around. So now we are back on on uh, segment number three. So let's go to the segmented way line, spanner picture, and let's block this segment three because that's the segment we want to drill this field on. While drilling here, I can quickly explain the all, all the technology options available for the G-Series. As said before, the G-Series is, uh, because it has the Smart Touch user interface, it's capable to have uh, same technology options as the bigger tractors, the NT and S-Series. That means that section control up to 36 sections is possible. Uh, variable rate up to five different products. We have a TaskDoc and TaskDoc Pro, and together with, for example, Agri Router and Next Machine Management, uh, with TaskDoc Pro you can wirelessly transfer tasks and uh, prescription maps between the tractor and the, the computer. And then, of course, we have the Wayline Assistant, which is really handy uh, when working on fields with various shapes. The question is, what would I do without Walter Guide at the moment? Dry conditions, a lot of dust. It would be really hard to see where I should drive. Now I can relax and concentrate on on the, the drill and getting an optimal optimal planting done. At the same time we have the task running. All values are saved here in task doc. And uh, after drilling, I will se send them back to the FMIS system. Actually, with Next, Next is really handy because I can get the quick report and give it to a co customer, for example, if I'm contracting. Actually, I wonder why I haven't used the quick steer. Let's activate it for the next round. With quick steer, instead of four revolutions from one side to the other, it halves it to, to two revolutions. Less effort in the headlands. Whoa, that's fast. You can have different layers. Just normal work area with the tram lines, tram lines visualized as applied, so showing the different rates on the go. Or the full prescription map with all the values. The good thing with Valtry Guide is that you can check your emails or do actually whatever you want when driving straight. Here, when the headland is in that shape, it's really nice to have two different sections available. And especially that they close and open automatically. Because of section control, the Valtry Guide can also be moved to the Smart Touch Extend. So instead of having Valtry Guide here, you would have it in the second terminal. If you forgot to order any smart farming feature uh, to your new tractor, you can always order them later as well by contacting your dealer. In the terminal you can see what features you have unlocked in the set menu.
Now we have seeded the inside of the field. So this is ready. Maybe you see it better from here. So all this is is done. And now to see the headlands, that's when the real benefit of the Wayland assistant becomes obvious. So go back to the Wayline and the spanner and instead of selecting only one segment, you activate all segments. And once that is done, you also turn off the headland mode in section control, which means that now we can see also the headlands. So as you see, we are on segment number one, wayline five. Let's try with some different overlap settings. So what what happens now when I need to go to that direction? Well, I lift the drill and I turn the tractor around. And instead of going manually to the wayline menu and choosing the next wayline, the system automatically suggests me segment number four. By harrowing the headlands, I give the, gr the crop optimal um, chances to, to grow well in the headlands as well. As you see in the headlands now, wayline assistant is suggesting the right uh, wayline, wayline segment. Therefore, you don't have to go to the wayline menu and, and choose the, the waylines manually. Really handy. Then, once the field is done, all places are planted. I can pause the task. Then I go to the task book menu and here I see all different kind of, of data from the tractor, fuel consumption and also from the drill. So how, m how many kilograms of, of uh, seeds has been drilled and so on. Then I will uh, send it back to the FMIS system, so to next. And here I get the task summary and if I'm satisfied with that when validating on the green the task will go to the FMIS system. Everything happens wirelessly so I don't need to use any USB sticks or, or something like that. So task export finished, OK and now I'm done. With Valtteri Connect I can check the status of the work, so 55 liters was the total fuel consumption today, average fuel consumption 13, 13 liter per hour. And on the map I can check where I have been driving exactly. When the job has been done, you can look at the task summary in your FMIS system. I'm using Next today and in Next Machine Management I can go to Process Data and I can choose the task I want to visualize. The task has been tracking various data points and I can look at all the different data points in the job computer. Next has also a good feature which is the quick report creation and when I click on quick report the system is doing a quick report that I can give straight to the customer or store in my documentation center.
when opening the quick report I can see the summary information of the task so when the task has been performed how much time how much area all the summary about the work is here and I also get a picture with the job that has been done this was definitely the best tractor experience I ever experienced <laughs>